The one octave arpeggio allows us to take our three note triad and turn it into four notes by coming up over the top. And we'll do this circular motion here to accommodate the larger set of notes. Okay, this gives us some options because in our pieces now, instead of being in this closed position, we're actually in an open position, but yet with a relaxed wrist, we stay in motion. The Einklein and Nacht music illustrates this pretty well. If we took all of these notes in that first line of music, we see that's all outlining D major, isn't it? But if we took that in our hand, we did this big handful of notes. And that's in essence an arpeggio for us, isn't it? But notice when we played it as an arpeggio, we let our hand follow along so that the hand stays relatively closed. This releases and reduces tension. So here we go with this to this. And notice I just follow through. What do we have in the next lines? We get our big five, seven, root, third, fifth, and seventh. So, so we had one chord for the first line and then five, seven, and then into the rest of our melody. Here, our sus chord, which in essence here is our 5 7 over the pedal point of that D. 1 5 7. 